guys. Welcome. This is going to be kind of a short video because this is just a goofy little thing that I bought. Um, but I've been really excited for this to show up and it finally got here. Um, I don't have too much to say about it. I'll just open it and let you observe what I've purchased. Um, you just really got to see what I bought here. This is truly a one of a kind. So let's just get into it. Oh yeah, and make sure to subscribe before we get into this or I will find you. I'm going full man here, I don't even care. Look at this. I probably need to take my ring off for this one though. But this is my first kind of micro bally. Yes. Look at this thing. Oof. In the sunlight. That is a masterpiece. Oof, that flips like crap. This definitely needs to loosen up a little bit. It is so... It is supposed to glow in the dark, though, which is kind of exciting. I need to loosen it up here. I should have brought my oil up. But anyways... back and forth a lot. I think I just need to loosen it. But this thing is hilarious. Okay, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna pause the video and go adjust the screws. Uh, let me, yeah. Alright, I'm back and with this plane overhead about to throw a bomb at me. Um, I attempted to fix it a little bit. I drenched it in oil and I tried unscrewing the screws a little bit but I realize now that it's just gonna have to get played with to to be able to break out of this it'll just have to grade down the 3d printing in there I could probably just take out the, the uh, whatever they have in there probably washers a single washer but this thing has to be the goofiest thing I've ever bought like just look at it I love, I've never had one of these little uh, tiny ones, these tiny little stunted valleys. And I thought, you know what, I'll just buy one just to be goofy. And this was not even the smallest one I could buy. There was one that literally went to like right here. And I'm like, how does that even flip? But anyways, this is it. The silly valley, that's what I'm calling it now. Actually, though, these add, like, a lot of grip. This is really nice. But I'm not going to be doing any insane tricks with it, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe I can do a chaplain. Let me try a chaplain. Oh. One chaplain. One rotation. It is very stuck. But surprisingly, no tap. We got golden hardware. I'm not sure why they put a tang pin hole. It's not like there's gonna be like tang pins going into this thing, but it definitely just runs on some goofy little washers and hidden Zen pins, which are not really hidden. They're just built into the handles. Um, it's, there's, n the only metal here is probably this and the washers. The rest is just 3D printed you can even see the material if I walk into the sun here. You can see the 3D print lines. So, yeah. This is the little bally. I'm going to be accidentally throwing this guy a lot. The advantages of this thing, though, is that I can probably keep it in my pocket wherever I go. So it's going to be my little to-go to friend. And I'm going to break it in so that I can actually, like, flip it, you know. It's so goofy. Actually, it has really surprising tolerances. I was expecting a lot worse. Because this was literally, like, less than $5. And I understand why it was less than $5, because it barely flips. Um, but anyways, I just bought this because I was like, you know what? I need something goofy to review. And I'm definitely going to be breaking this thing in and then making more videos with it once I get it scrunkled.
less less grunkly, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Ooh, almost a lap. Almost a ladder. Let's go ladder. Into a thumb rollover. Thumb rollover. <laughs> it's not only the, the weird, like, not moviness, but it's also the fact that it's literally half the size of a normal bally. Can do the basic opening though. If I can not grab the handle on accident. Oops, I keep grabbing the handle. Fan, maybe? No, there's no way this thing will fan. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.